All right, guys, pneumatics lab number five. This one's going to give you a or logic. So one or the other three, two push button is pressed. Then the single acting cylinder is going to extend. We're not going to be making use of the shuttle valve yet. We'll bring that in uh, in the next few labs. All right, let's take a look at how to set this guy up. Two push buttons controlling a single acting cylinder with the or logic. All right, so we're over to our Festo fluid sim now. now let's grab that single acting cylinder. And let's grab some two three twos that are normally closed to the passage of air. And all we have to do is just set these guys up to provide us with that or logic. So one or the other one will provide that air up to the single acting cylinder. We need a supply here. So we'll drop this bad boy in here. Now, remember that our manifold has a number of different uh, output terminals. So we can come from the manifold from either one of them, or we can just connect these guys up with the T. Remember that in order to uh, connect this guy up, I hovered over here, brought it over, and when I saw green, then I could let go of the mouse. Okay, one or the other are going to allow that air to go up. So again, I'm going to hover over this guy right here. I've put these guys in parallel, and so we're going to bring this guy down and drop her in. Excellent. Okay, we'll hit play. Now, hit one guy. It allows the air to go up to the single acting cylinder. Hit the other push button. That also extends it there. But you may have seen the problem with this circuit here. As soon as I hit this button, so let me hit shift and hit this button, you can see that the air is going up and going to my single acting cylinder. But air is also coming over here and going from two and exhausting out of three on my other push button. Well, that sucks because now I've got, I may not have enough air to actually make this go out. And now I'm losing air over here. So there's got to be a better design to this circuit. The better design is the exact same thing, but with the shuttle valve in here. The shuttle valve is going to move over and block the other push button from having the air, having exhausted out from two to three. But again, from here, you can see the air is going up, going out from one to two on my first push button, going up to the single acting cylinder, but also exhausting out of the other switch. Okay, so we're just building up to see what the advantages are uh, with the shuttle valve <clears throat> and how this is going to fix up this circuit. Okay, so once you guys have this set up on your simulator, then you can hook this up on the boards. So let's do that now. All right, guys, lab number five. So we got to do an OR circuit, but we're not going to make use of the shuttle valve yet. So we're going to parallel these guys up. So we're going to bring this to either one of our push buttons. Now you can use a T there, or there's lots of places where we can tap into that manifold there. So let's do that. So we're feeding either one of the push buttons, and then we're going to parallel the output there. So this output and this output are going to combine. Now to combine those guys, let's grab a T from our taco box here. Okay, so we've got the air coming into our T. And then from there, we're going to output to our single acting cylinder. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's crank this on. Now, this one should make the single acting cylinder extend. Oh, yeah. You can hear that issue. You got the air pouring out of the other switch. Okay, hitting this guy does extend it. But again, the air is pushing out of the opposite switch. Let's see whether it can actually have some force. If I put a little bit of force on there, nothing. All of that air is pushing out of the other switch there. So it looks like it's working properly, but you can hear in the background that it's exhausting out of the other switch. So there's a better way to do this. Instead of doing a T here, we're going to make use of that shuttle valve, but that's in a later lab. Okay? But this is what you're looking for for number five. Okay?